Hello everyone, this is Chris with the Bowling Yard, and I thought I would do a how-to tutorial on uh, something I came up with years ago. <coughs> you may recognize this. Add stripping. This is the ZL1. Camaro, 2017. Uh, I want to show you. You can see right there that lettering is raised up. You got the Chevy back here. You got a Z01 badge right there. I think that's it. I want to show you something I started doing. Like I said, I came up with this years ago out of frustration. Okay, you're gonna have to have your bare metal foil. And your scissors. Where the hell I put those? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna cut a piece big. And not because they tell you to, you know because you need to hear. Excuse me. Love having asthma. Oh, by the way, anything you see on this channel that I do and I show y'all how to do it, Go for it. Take it. Use it. Use it as your own. That's all you know. That's why I do these. You don't have to say I'm stealing it or anything because I'm giving it to you free of charge. I'm doing this on my cell phone because my camera's charging. Once you get this peeled off, sometimes I love this shit. <laughs> that was crazy. Well, what you do, you put it on there. Now, yeah, you do your regular, you know, how you do it. Push it down. And the reason why you want this big like this is because you don't really want to affect anything inside this area, but you do want to do something with the edges. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Alright, now.
Yeah, I know I'm not talking much. It's because getting that done takes all my concentration. Now, if you can find the crease, to put, you know, to use, use it. An edge. Bring your saw on our saw. Like, just like that. Now, here comes a really good part. <laughs> getting it off. Okay, once you get it off, this is where things get crazy. You gotta take your, your sander. And if you take your nail and you go like that, you can feel the line. And what you do is you sand on that line. Like I said, you don't really want to mess with anything up in here. If you do have to, be careful. Because Damn. I got air bubble in it. Sand it down as smooth as you can. The reason, well, you can't actually go all the way up to the badge if you want to. Until you take your fingernail and you can't feel it. So basically what you've done is you've feathered this edge down to the point to where when you paint it, it won't even show up. You won't even be able to tell there's a big swack of uh, air metal fall under it. It takes a while to do this. See, I can still feel it. Once you get all of them done, just like I'm showing you here, then you're ready to prime your car. You don't change anything about it. Well, you do, but you don't. Prime it normally. Light coats, you know, several times over. Yeah. I came up with this idea because I was trying to do a uh, road, uh, road, was a roller? Yeah. And I, uh, on the box, the um, cages, now you have to realize back when I started doing this, we didn't have the decals for the badges and all that, so. But on the box, you could see all of the little detail of the dashboard. And like I said, back in the day when I was doing this, we didn't, uh, we didn't have the uh, decals to put in there to show them off, so. I wanted my dash to look as good as the dash on the box. So I tried dry brushing it, dry brushing it, dry brushing it, ultra dry brushing it. It just wouldn't come out. And uh, so I walked away from it, went and took a bath, because that's where I do my best thinking. Don't ask me why. But, um,. It dawned on me. Bare metal foil. So I put the gauges on the dash and bare metal foil. And, uh, oh yeah, 
that's called. Painted it like normal and took a Q-tip, well not a Q-tip, but part of one. Put it on the end of a toothpick. And it worked out just the way I wanted it to. Then one day I tried it on the side of a car. I think it was a 442 hose. When I got done with the badge on the side, I painted the inside white like it is on the real car. But at the outside chrome, it looked just like the real car. You couldn't tell it wasn't a, a badge that was molded on. So now, I got this down to the point to where I can still feel it, but not as bad. <laughs> All right, now what I'll do here is I'm going to cut the video, and then I'm going to come back. After I get all the other ones done, I'm going to come back, prime it, and show you what you have to do between primer coats. All right. Be back soon. All right, <clears throat> I've been sanding a little bit, spots and whatnot like that. But when you put your first light coat on it, what you look for is these lines. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the edge of the uh, <clears throat> bare metal foil. You have to get rid of those, or it'll just build up. But this is also where you get. Um, If you're using Vallejo primers, alcohol is the best thing. Water doesn't really touch it. You put some alcohol on it. <clears throat> and uh, pretty much falls away. But what you do probably better to use a toothpick for this. Just go over this. Just slide. See? You do that on all of them. First time it looks terrible. But even though it looks horrible. As you go along, it'll all get covered up. It'll look just, just nice. But you do this after every coat. I mean, you, you, if you, even if you remove some of the stuff like that, since this is a light coat. Doesn't matter, it'll be all right. Well, that's how you do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and I said, if you can see the edges of the bare metal foil, you have to do some work on that because it just won't disappear, it'll build up as you go along.
right there shows. Sometimes I've also found that <clears throat> if you just go ahead and just get rid of all the paint on the bare metal foil, that and that will reach up on the next coat and you'll end up with a smooth finish. Because the thickness of that paint is obviously the same thickness as that. So you can do it this way or the other way. Either way it works. Get rid of the nasty edges too, you know that, right? Before you prime this thing again, this is Vallejo Black Primer. See? Goes there and there. That's what you need to do right there. So I'll get this sanded down, primed again, only this time I'll show you the end results of what you're gonna end up with. So as soon as I get this ready, I'll let you know. Bye. Alright. Now after priming it, sanding it, priming it, sanding it, catching the edges like I showed you. This is what you're trying to accomplish. And you can still see it a little bit there, but once you get on the, this is just the primer coat, remember. Although I am going to spray this with flat and tape off these areas here, part of the hood, and then paint the main body the color I want it to be. Remember, I can't tell you. But that's what you want. Now, as far as I can tell, this is ready for paint. So the next time you see that, although I do like that black paint finish. <laughs> next time you see it, it'll be revealed. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to clarify.